And the Pittsburgh Steelers run the table at the end of the regular season, win their last seven, beat Miami, come into Kansas City, beat them on the road. And we'll close. It's January 15th, 2017, and the Kansas City Chiefs just lost in the divisional round to the Pittsburgh Steelers. It was the third time in Andy Reid's four years as Chiefs head coach the, the team would suffer the same fate, a playoff loss in either the wild card or divisional rounds. This was far better than where the Chiefs were before they hired Reid, but that was not the goal. The goal was a Super Bowl, and with their current core of players, that seemed more and more unlikely. The player at the center of every team's core is its quarterback, and Kansas City was confident in their guy and veteran Alex Smith, but with one playoff win in four seasons in the Alex Smith and Andy Reid era, it was not crazy to ponder that it was time for a change at the most important position in all of sports. Going into the 2017 draft process, Kansas City holds the 27th pick, which is certainly not the prettiest pick to get a quarterback. When you look at this year's QB class rankings, you consistently see at the top one year starting UNC quarterback Mitchell Trubisky. Trubisky was praised for his accuracy with, with his downside being lack of starter experience. At number two, you commonly see national champion Clemson quarterback Deshaun Watson. Watson was praised for his champion experience and leadership qualities with his accuracy being questioned by scouts. Enter Patrick Mahomes, commonly seen as number three. Mahomes was extremely interesting as he featured great mobility and incredible arm strength, which sometimes led to some great improvisation plays and sometimes led to some really awful decision making, which was greatly frowned upon. He was a fascinating raw prospect and no one really knew what to make of Mahomes except for Brett Veach. Brett Veach was the co-director of player personnel for the Chiefs, and most importantly, he was Andy Reid's right-hand man. They were together for nine years in Philadelphia as Veach rose from coaching intern to scout in six short years. Veach greatly influenced the selections of LaShawn McCoy and Deshaun Jackson, so he had every right to be a very trusted part of Reid's camp. In fact, he was the only one who went with Reed from Philadelphia to Kansas City back in 2013. Veach described Mahomes as the best college player he had ever seen, and Veach would persist the greatness of Mahomes to head coach Andy Reid and GM John Dorsey, and they were buying it. But with a prospect like Mahomes, who is very enticing, it is very easy to mess it up. He was a very raw, not very pro-ready prospect. And if a bad franchise were to pick him and throw him into the Wolves, who knows if it would have worked. The situation surrounding the quarterback is the most important thing in any quarterback development. But in this case, it is the difference between a first round bust and an MVP caliber player. The Chiefs had a great situation for Mahomes, a veteran QB and Alex Smith to sit behind and learn from, and also a head coach in Andy Reid who had been Brett Favre's QB coach and worked with Donovan McNabb for many years, is certainly qualified for the position of teaching Mahomes. It is all lining up for Kansas City to select Patrick Mahomes, but can they get him? Getting the right trade up was key for all of this to work, and that was the job of general manager John Dorsey. Dorsey has been in the league since 1991, and with that amount of experience, you are bound to have connections around the league. One of those connections was Bill's GM, Doug Whaley, who had the number 10 pick in the draft, and after floating the idea of a trade during the scouting combine, the Bills were all ears. But there is still work to do on Mahomes, most namely his pro day. Mahomes and the Chiefs were able to meet, and after Andy Reid grilled Patrick Mahomes, the Chiefs were sold on the Texas Tech quarterback. Fast forward to two days before the draft, and the Bills and Chiefs are hammering out details for a potential trade-up if the chips fall just right. Those details or that the Chiefs received pick 10, as the Bills would receive pick 27, a third rounder, and the Chiefs 2018 first round pick. It was a tall price considering Kansas City had already had a Pro Bowl QB, but when you believe you are getting a Hall of Fame quarterback, 
the price is right. Now, what would have to happen for the chips to fall just right? Well, Mahomes obviously could not be picked. So, who had a chance to pick him? There was the Bears at pick three, and literally no one except for Bears GM Ryan Pace and his inner circle knew what they were going to do. Seriously, not everyone in the Bears organization knew what Pace's plan was in hopes of keeping leaks out, and that certainly worked because, wow, the plan was to draft Mitch Trubisky, who they even had to trade up one spot to do. That was a shock felt league-wide, and now QB needy teams were left with either Deshaun Watson or Patrick Mahomes. At pick three, the 49ers went the defensive route, getting D.N. Solomon Thomas, and quarterback-wise, at pick four, the Jags had already had Blake Bortles. At pick five, the Titans already had Marcus Mariota. And at pick six, the Jets were dead set on LSU safety Jamal Adams. That leaves the other main contender at pick seven, and that was the Los Angeles Chargers, who already had an aging QB in Phillip Rivers, and they would stick with their legendary QB and draft wide receiver Mike Williams out of Clemson. The Panthers would select Christian McCaffrey, and at pick 9, the Bengals would select John Ross. As the Bills are on the clock at pick 10, it was go time. John Dorsey and Doug Whaley laid out the terms for a trade once again. Bills GM Doug Whaley hung up the phone, waited a few minutes for a potential better deal. He did not get one. The Chiefs and Bills completed the trade, got the deal done, and moments later, Kansas City had gotten their golden boy. The Kansas City Chiefs select Patrick Mahomes, the second quarterback. Oh. It is Patrick Mahomes, the second.